Conditional statements are ways for us to make decisions or take actions based on the success or failure of a command. Let's take a look at what these look like in Bash. I have the is underscore number underscore even script open. It is inside of the what are conditional statements directory. Inside of our GitHub repo, as always, link will be in the description. Starting everything off, we have a variable called number. We have the number 2,394 set as its value. Following that, we have this line on number seven that starts with the if keyword. This means we're starting off a if then else statement, which is a conditional statement in bash. On this line number seven, inside of square brackets, we have a, another command, and this is the condition. So this is actually what we're going to test, true or false. If the outcome of this is true, we're gonna go into then and then if the output is false, we're gonna go in else, okay. So if this is true, then do what's inside of here. Else, if this is not true, else if it's false, do what's inside of here. And then the fi is just the way to end your if statement and it's just if backwards. That's pretty much it there. Let's dive deeper into this line number seven. Now we know that anything inside the square brackets means that it is the condition to test for. But what about anything that's inside of this dollar, open parentheses, open parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses? Well, this is called a compound command. And in this case, it's meant to perform arithmetic truth tests. So the value, or I guess the um, output, or the response, or the result of the command in here is gonna either be a zero or a one, either a false or a true. Anything that is non-zero is going to be true, so it's going to be one. This might be confusing, but let me give you an example. Uh, let's say the value of number is, let's just set this to something easier, four, right? So if four mod two, equals zero, then that means that this whole command here is gonna equal zero. If it doesn't equal zero, then that means this whole command is gonna equal one. Uh, if you're familiar with mod, what it means is, okay, when I divide this number by this number is the leftover, I need to know the leftover value. If the leftover value is zero, that means the result of this command here or this arithmetic truth test is zero, meaning that the number is even, all right? Fantastic. Next, we've got this dash EQ, which stands for equal, equal. This is a test. And what we're doing is comparing what's on here to on the left side to what's on the right side. In this case, we're comparing if this is either a one or a Z world, and if this value equals zero. So if this the result of this on the left side on our truth test is a zero, this means that it's even. And if it equals zero, well, it means that it's even, correct? So if it's even, we're gonna go, that means this condition is true. Then we're gonna go echo the number and then provide the variable here with a dollar sign. We wanna print out the actual number that's even. Remember, because we are in double quotes, we want the value of the, the variable or the command to be expanded, to be computed. If this was single quotes, then we would want the literal. So this would not print the value of the number. This would actually just print out dollar sign number. If it's not true, else, then print out the number. Number is odd. So let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to first have to change the, well, let's move into the correct uh, folder. What are conditional statements? Correct. That's actually the one that we want to move into. Awesome. And then I have to do trimod 700 is fantastic. So we can execute this. And let's go ahead and run this here. Is number even? And it tells us the number four is even. That is correct. If we change this to something like 15, which is a number that we know is not even, the number 15 is odd. And you can continue playing with this, uh, typing in different values, and it's going to tell you if it's uh, even or not. And that is how a conditional statement works inside of Bash. There is actually another way to make a decision based on some kind of of output of a command or the calculation of a command or the result of a command called case statements. And we're gonna take a look at these next.